Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to take the derivative using the chain rule. Um, so let's just get started right away with an example. Uh, let's say we have the function f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 5. Let's say it's all raised to the 10th power. And the first thing I want to talk to you about is when do you need to use the chain rule? And anytime you see a parentheses followed by an exponent, that is your dead giveaway that you have to use the chain rule. Um, so it's really important that you remember that anytime you see a parentheses followed by an exponent, you have to use the chain rule. And the cool thing about using the chain rule is that it allows us to take the derivative of this function without expanding. Um, obviously, if we expanded something to the 10th power, that would take forever. Um, so it saves us a lot of time and it's, uh, it's very useful. Uh, so let's just get started right away with this example. Um, if we have the function f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 5 to the 10th power, uh, the derivative, and before I take the derivative, I'm just going to copy and paste just to save a little bit of time. So I wrote for you all the steps for taking the derivative on the left-hand side. And the first step for taking a derivative using the chain rule is we want to bring the exponent to the front. It's the same as the power rule. So we want to take this exponent of 10 and we want to bring it to the front and multiply it. The inside of the parentheses stays exactly the same so I'm going to keep my 3x squared plus 5 and our third step is we want to subtract the exponent by 1. Um, so since there was a 10 exponent in our original function um, 10 minus 1 is 9, uh, there's going to be a 9 exponent in our derivative. And then moving on to our last step is we want to multiply everything by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses. Okay, notice inside the parentheses there's a 3x squared plus 5. Uh, so the derivative of the inside, the derivative of 3x squared is just 6x. And the derivative of positive 5 is just 0. Um, so the derivative of 3x squared plus 5 is just 6x. And we want to multiply that. So now we have taken the derivative using the chain rule. And we always need to simplify this as much as possible. And the only way this can be simplified is this 10 can be multiplied by the 6x. Um, so if you multiply the 10 by the 6x, that gives you a 60x and the parentheses stay the same and we can't forget about our 9 exponent. Now we have taken a derivative using the chain rule. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.